what's up y'all welcome back or welcome to my channel it's your butterfly nicole kamala and i am back with another butterfly life episode woo, woo, woo. but anyways so today's video will be about being a powerhouse yes honey it doesn't matter what you believe in you have a powerful spirit within you that sets you apart from everyone else in this world now by definition a powerhouse is a person or thing of great strength power or energy a source of inspiration or influence when i started activating my own powerhouse it has helped guide me to my life's purpose embracing everything around me and about me that brings me happiness has really helped me shift my mindset from lack of to abundance and gratitude now let's get into the video so i can tell you guys how you can tap into your inner powerhouse and also some tips that has helped me along the way so when turning your powerhouse on you gotta turn the lack mindset off when i'm constantly thinking of what i'm lacking i don't feel powerful like i just feel defeated and then all of the thoughts of is this my fate and is this all I'm amounted to be? Like, is this is this it for me? Starts to like crowd my mind. Practicing gratitude for all that I have and accomplished so far has helped pull me out of those dark thoughts and help me see how bright and beautiful life really is. And it also doesn't matter how big or small the accomplishments are, I make sure to remind myself that I am proud of myself and I'm grateful for what I have done so far and so that it makes me more excited about the future to come. Having something to look forward to or be grateful for really helps fuel that energy that strength and that power and source of inspiration for your powerhouse that we were mentioning in the definition earlier now that leads me into my next tip which is my most important tip and a tip that has really helped me so much with continuing to like be the powerhouse that i am and go after like my dreams and my goals and the things that i desire is teaming up with my inner child and I'm going to tell y'all why this is so important. So remember when we were kids and we always had a, a new idea or a career path that we wanted to pursue? We were always saying stuff like, oh, I want to be da 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 and I want to be a da 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 Or when I get older, I'm going to be da 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 we were actually excited about the future ahead of us. You know, it would, we would just come up with it like every week or so, like every few months. And we just like tell our parents about it and whatnot. And they just go along with it. Now for the people who has grown up with um, strict parents and whenever you would talk about your dream or what it is that you want to do, they kind of like dismissed you or told you to focus on a career path or a dream that you know, they wanted you to do. First off, I want to say no child deserves to go through that. You weren't made to be exactly like your parents or follow the path that they mapped or planned out for you before you were even born. It's in your birthright. And I'm going to say it again. Hear me. It's in your birthright to go after your dreams and your goals and whatever you desire regardless of what anybody has to say. But I want y'all to remember that feeling of constantly coming up with the ideas of, oh, I wanna be this, or I would like to be that. You know, the different things that you were interested in, whatever it may be. I want y'all to go back to that feeling of just even coming up with those ideas because that shows within you believe that you are powerful enough to go after those dreams one day even if you felt like right like as a child at this moment being a child like it's it's not happening because you know you have your parents making a lot of decisions for you and stuff like that you still have that strength and you have that power within you that's telling you hey I, I know I can't do this now, but I know one day I feel it. Maybe just one day the opportunity for it will come back around. I'm telling y'all right now, it does. Even when you felt like that you couldn't do this at this certain point in your life, trust me, it's going to come back around at a time where you're just like, you know what? I'm going to 
do it. Fuck it. Period. But for everyone, for everyone, all people that is listening to this right now, I want y'all to hold on to that. I can do anything I put my mind to and when I get older type of mindset. Because me personally, that's what helps keep pushing me forward. Like, you know, as an adult, we're literally stressed with so many different bills responsibilities having to take care of our own damn selves like it's a lot so teaming up with your inner child and still having that childlike curiosity of what's around the corner we felt like you know the world just had unlimited amount of possibilities i know something's gonna happen oh but when i get older when i do this when i do that like Keep that, keep that, because that's what's going to keep you wanting to, like, keep going. Like, my inner child, my seven-year-old self, telling my 24-year-old self, hey, when we get older, when we get older, we're going to do this. And, oh, how about we try this? And how about we try that? It's bringing the joy and the fun back into my life. It's not, like, my life, I try not to make it all be about my adulting things. Because, yes, of course, we have priorities and stuff like that. We're adults. But... That's how you end up really getting trapped in like cycles and just you just constantly running like you just constantly running in a hamster wheel. Like you got your job, you go there, you come home, you maybe rest, go back to work, do it again. Like, but where's the fun? Team up with your inner child. Do things that do things that, you know, your inner child would love. You know, you teaming up with them is going to be the best decision that you ever made because that's what's going to help keep motivating you. Because at one point in your life, we were the kids that was like, oh my God, when I get older, I want to do da 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 da. And then now we're the adults that's like, oh my God, I wish I was a kid again. But then it's like, whenever I think that, I think back to how my younger self was like, oh my gosh, I can't wait till I get older. When we used to say that it was talking about like, you know, being able to make our own decisions and do the things that we want to do, wear what we want, whatever. Like literally, basically the whole main thing that we liked as a kid is being able to make our own decisions. Our parents didn't have to make any decisions for us. Well, now technically, hey, we got that. But yeah, <laughs> the expectation of it was a little bit hyped. Now it's like, I have this childlike joy and energy but then i also have this seriousness of an adult and bringing that together is going to help really build the life that i desire and it actually being like realistic in my eyeballs so yes teaming up with your inner child is so important please start listening to your inner child i'm serious and now for my next tip of not giving a fuck because period honey to be a powerhouse, you have to truly believe that you are unstoppable and can't nobody stop what is for you. And that's for real. Because like when you're when you're tapping into your own power, you may start tapping into a lot of different things that you didn't even know that was within you. Now, even though this is something new for you, it's exciting. You know, you're tapping into all these new different energies. The people around you may not understand that. Now, I'm not saying that there will be nobody in the world that understands that. No, I know that I have people that love me and support me and that they they know what I do. They know I like to do a lot of different things. They know that I'm a creator. It's, it's literally what I do. I love to create. But, you know, I've had dealt with people who seen my light and seen how much of many different things that I like to do and get intimidated by it feel like maybe like try to put me in a box or say that maybe I'm doing too much. Like, and maybe that's why I don't give a fuck about none of that. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about none of that shit now. Why? When I started making my own decisions and really started doing the things that make me happy, nobody else could stop me. Nobody else, nobody else's opinions was going to take me off of the path that I want to go down. Can't nobody tell me anymore like, oh, I think you should stop doing fashion design and I'm over here second guessing and thinking about listening to this person. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Absolutely not. If I want to pursue something because it makes me happy, genuinely happy, I'm going to do that. 
and I mean this in all aspects of life, I'm talking about your career, friendships, relationships, family, hobbies, whatever, whatever. Like if you want to get closer with your friends and your family, do that. Like, you feel me? Do that. Start to try to communicate more. Even if it, like, you know, it's baby steps, but at least you taking the steps, right? Right. You only have one life to live. So why sit here and spend it unhappy because other people don't want to see you pursue something? I'm sorry. I didn't know that they was going to hop in the casket with me. I didn't know they was going to get on the little tray and be rolled into that fucking human oven and be burnt to ashes with me. I ain't know that. I ain't know that. I, th I thought I thought when they put me down, I'm going down alone. Whatever this vessel did while I was on this earth, that's up to me. I'd be damned if I sit here and live in regret. If you want to go after something, do that joint you only got one life to live bro i me personally i would rather sit here and find out like fuck around and find out than sit here and just sit in regret wondering oh what if like no i want to know i want to know what's around that corner that actually kind of relates back to the point where i was talking about teaming up with your inner child and having that mindset of oh my god like what's around the corner i know when i get older this will happen and this will happen and this can happen like, we, our minds was just like, we was coming up with a 10,000 scenarios of what adulthood would be like. So I don't understand as adults, why can't we do that now? Who gives a fuck about what anybody else got to say about what you want to do with your life and what makes you truly happy? Because like I said, ain't nobody about to jump in the casket with me when I'm six feet under. Ain't nobody about to do that. They're going to keep living their life and moving on as they should. I don't like to take life too seriously, but I like there to be a balance. I like to have fun and i like to do the main things different things that i like to do so even though it could be intimidating it could make people want to put me in a box but i don't care i don't care because this is my life and doing these things make me happy everyone deserves a life where they can be their authentic selves go for it trust your heart your heart knows what's best for you and will lead you to really amazing and beautiful places you have to just trust and believe it and now for my last and final tip Ooh, we get to the end of the video if y'all been sitting here listening to this video like thank you for rocking with me real quick because like period i really been like on a low low but i'm really happy to be back and to be doing this episode for you guys i absolutely love butterfly life and i love what i do but now on to the last point and that is recharging your powerhouse recharging your powerhouse is very important in order to be this great source of energy and power you have to learn when to pause and recharge we are not working machines whatever it is you have to learn how to prioritize your time and make time to take care of yourself as well. Because how can you constantly pour and give and give and give and you're not even to everybody else, but you're not giving to yourself. It's, it's not, it's going to create an imbalance and then you're going to start feeling burnt out and exhausted. Yeah, because you're giving so much of yourself. And you're not taking the time to sit back and recharge your powerhouse. Like, honestly, you guys, this episode is actually a product of me being in hermit mode for like the past two weeks, maybe. Yeah, like the past two weeks, maybe. Even though it's like I was going out and about, I was running errands, I was doing work and stuff i still felt a little bit different like i felt like i wasn't fully in my power i felt like my powerhouse has literally been drained so i've literally just been sitting back recharging doing my thing taking care of myself doing my hobbies that has brought me so much peace and it's been therapeutic for the brain 
honey and honestly i am so glad that i stopped and listened to myself and took that break because honestly this has got to be like one of my favorite episodes so far like how just because I already had the idea in my head when I tweeted, I'm a fucking powerhouse and I need to tell myself that more often. I already had the idea there, but I didn't have like the episode content yet, like my notes and stuff. I didn't have that until I sat down like a few days ago and I was just, I was going, I was writing. There were so many ideas coming out. There were so many, oh, oh. Yeah, don't say that. Like, wait a minute. No, this flows. I like. If I honestly didn't take that time for myself, I don't feel as though I could have really given my all. Because um, I mentioned this in other videos, but whenever I do Butterfly Life, I have to really, like, feel it. Like, I can't just sit here. I'm in a depressed state or my mental not right. And I try to write down a script of butterfly life and try to film it me personally i can't even get through a script i can't even get through a script notes i can't get through none of that if my mental not there because there's nothing there's nothing flowing out of me authentically there's nothing that's genuine that i could truly talk about or that i felt like i was in the right space to talk about so taking that time for myself, going through the process of being in hermit mode, building myself back up, getting all these ideas, finally having movement to then now sitting down, putting my makeup on, recording a video, putting it out there. Like it was a whole process, but it was worth it. Now, if you're not really feeling motivated and or have a creative block, um, a tip that has really helped me while I'm resting, like laying in bed and stuff, I'll sit there and I'll watch um, videos, shows about what it is that I'm trying to, you know, get back into. Like when I'm down and whatnot for my inner child, we watch Brats, period. Another thing I like to watch, I like to watch fashion competition shows um i like to watch different sewing tutorials of stuff like especially if i'm planning a project like i have an idea in my head but i'm not too sure how to actually construct it yet i would look up videos on that so i feel more comfortable going into it when i come back um what else do i do i make sure that i still in a way try to surround myself by what it is that i do it helps me, it helps me, you know, be more motivated. And like I said, slowly start coming out of that hermit mode. Child, I was, for an example, I was watching Next in Fashion. I literally binged that whole joint. But yeah, like, I find that this really helps spark new ideas and like, you know, remind me of why it is that I got into fashion or I'm doing the different things that I'm interested in and that I love right now. And it just like helps rebuild that passion. And it really, it adds fuel to the powerhouse. Like, oh, sh like, okay. Like fashion competition shows, they'll explain their stories and whatnot. And it's so inspiring. Cause I'd be like, yo, I feel you. I understand why you get into it. And then like watching the different challenges and how they all think about it differently. Like it inspires me and motivates me to actually get up and be like, no, like, this is why I do fashion. Like, I'm like, I'm a goddamn powerhouse. Like, who's gonna stop me? What? Let's get up. No, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> so that is all for today's video. I really hope that y'all enjoyed it. I hope y'all feel like the beautiful, amazing powerhouses that you are. And not to mention, we as butterflies. Hello, baby. There's many a times we may have to slide up in our cocoon. We got to... We got to shimmy in our cocoon. You feel me? You feel me? But then, when we ready, oh, them wings. Them wings say, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. I'm not trying to do too much because you can't. Not trying to let the. <laughs> That's why I had this slip now. That's why I had this slip on YouTube. Even though I think I did in the intro and I'm going to refilm it. Hmm. We're, we're different butterflies. Like, we're butterflies. Sometimes we got to go back into our little cocoon to then grow and create bigger wings and 
you know different color wings there's patterns to it like the way we express ourselves just ever evolving ever transforming and that is on period okay 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 like I, said, I hope that you guys really enjoyed today's episode please be sure to comment like and subscribe i hope that you all have a beautiful day remember that you are a powerhouse nobody can stop you the power within you is different from everyone else and you're amazing okay bye you guys <laughs>